Music 6, Creating Rhythmic Pattern. Review Question Directions Read and understand each item carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper. Question number one. It is important to consider a time signature in creating a rhythmic pattern. What time signature is appropriate for this rhythmic pattern? Is it letter A, 2-4 time signature? Letter B, 3-4 time signature? Letter C, 4-4 time signature? Letter D, 6-8 time signature? Okay, if your answer is letter C, then you are correct. Let's have number 2. Analyze the rhythmic pattern below. Identify the missing rest to complete the rhythmic pattern. Okay, is it letter A? Letter B? Letter C? Or letter D? Which is the correct answer. Alright, if you answer letter C, then you are correct. Number 3. The number of beads in a measure is based on the time signature. How do you count the beads in the first measure of the rhythmic pattern below? Is it letter A, 1, 2, and 3, 4? Letter B, 1, 2, and 3, 4, and? Letter C, 1, 2, 3, 4. Letter D, 1, 2, and 3, and 4. Okay, which is the correct answer? Alright, if you answer letter B, you are correct. Number 4. Each note has an equivalent rhythmic syllable. What rhythmic syllable is equivalent for a whole note? Is it letter A? Ta, letter B, ta, letter C, t, 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 letter D, ta. Okay, which is the correct answer? Alright, the correct answer for number 4 is letter A. Number 5. Rhythmic patterns are created based on a specific time signature. Which of the following rhythmic pattern is correct? Okay, I want you to examine carefully the choices. Okay, if you answered letter C, you got it right. You have learned the basic concept about the element of rhythm in the past lessons, like counting the time values of notes and rest, and how to divide them into measures. These skills will help you in creating rhythmic patterns in varied time signatures. Now, in order to read, identify, and transcribe rhythms, you need to be familiar with rhythm notation and rhythmic patterns. We can create rhythmic and melodic patterns in composing a song. Today, you will learn how to create rhythmic patterns in different time signatures. Given the indicated time signature, let us conduct the rhythmic patterns according to the value of each note or rest in each measure. Okay, number one. Let's have number one first. The number of beats in a measure is two, based on the given time signature. The time signature for number 1 is in 2-4 time signature. Now, let us count the beats in the first measure of this rhythmic pattern. Okay, the first measure has a half note. And if we are going to count its beat, it says 1-2. Moving on to the second measure, the second measure counts 1-2 and the third measure counts 1, 2. Alright, let us proceed to number 2. In number 2, the number of beats in a measure is 3. 
because the time signature is in 3-4 time signature. Right? And if we are going to count the first uh, measure of the rhythmic pattern, it's 1, 2, 3. Okay? The second measure counts 1 and 2, 3. The third measure counts 1, 2, 3. Okay, let us proceed to number 3. The number of beats in a measure is 4 because the time signature is in 4-4 four, four time signature. Okay, let us count the beat value or let us count the beats in the first measure of the rhythmic pattern. Okay, the first measure counts 1, 2, and 3, 4, and. Alright, the second measure counts 1, 2, 3, 4. The third measure counts 1, 2, 3, 4. Rhythmic Patterns In rhythmic patterns, the basic method by which you can learn rhythm is by clapping or tapping the beat. A rhythmic pattern is a combination of notes and rest based on a time signature. And in learning rhythm, each note has an equivalent rhythmic syllable, which helps in understanding rhythmic patterns in easier and interesting way. Rhythmic syllable Let us examine the table carefully and understand its rhythmic syllables. Okay, the first row has a whole note. The rhythmic syllable for a whole note is ta. Again, ta. Okay, the second row has a dotted half note. The rhythmic syllable for a dotted half note is ta. Again, ta. Okay, moving on to the third row. The third row has a half note. The rhythmic syllable for a half note is ta. Again, ta. Okay, so let's have the quarter note. A quarter note has a rhythmic syllable of ta. Again, ta. Okay, let's have an eighth note. An eighth note has a rhythmic syllable of t. Again, t. Okay, let's have sixteenth note. 16th note has a rhythmic syllable of tiri tiri. Again, tiri tiri. Observe how the following rhythmic patterns are made so we can answer the given question. Let us answer this question. What is the time signature of each rhythmic pattern? Based from the given rhythmic patterns, the time signatures are in 2-4, 3-4, and 4-4 time signature. What rhythmic syllable is equivalent to whole note? Answer is... Ta! What rhythmic syllable is equivalent to half note? Answer is ta. What rhythmic syllable is equivalent to quarter note? Answer is ta. What rhythmic syllable is equivalent to an eighth note? Answer is t. How many measures are there in each rhythmic pattern? Answer is three measures. How do you create a rhythmic pattern? Rhythmic pattern is created by combining notes and rest based on a time signature. This is a guide illustration on how you can possibly clock the rhythmic pattern showing steady beats. Tips to remember. Rhythmic patterns are made up of combinations of notes and rest based on a given time signature. It also refers to the even or uneven combination of the duration of sounds. 
Even rhythmic pattern shows a steady beat. In two four time signatures, a quarter note receives one beat. And each note has an equivalent rhythmic syllable.